Okay, we've got our session on skin coming up. I'm gonna read from notes about skin. Skin is the main organ of elimination. Our skin breathes. Watch what you put on your skin, including fabric. We've talked about that. And Barbara said, especially when exercising, like think about that. So, you know, you're wearing your nylon um, yoga pants or your, your whatever, your stretchy material and we're exercising in those and we're sweating. So that sweat dries and it pulls the toxins from that plastic clothing into our body. Just something to be aware about. Did you know this? I kind of knew this, but I didn't know the number was so big. 70% of our waste is eliminated through our skin. Let that sink in for a minute. That is how imperative it is if we want to have a healthy body to think about what is on this skin, including makeup, lotions, clothing. Our skin manages our temperature, It uh, perspiration. Perspiration is 99% H2O. Here's a neat little awareness. So when we sleep, we perspire. And she said, when we get up and we throw those covers back, she said, leave those covers open for a little while. So all of the perspiration from the night before can evaporate off of those sheets. That's kind of a gross thing to think about, but I now don't make my bed right away in the morning because of the awareness Barbara shared with me. So I wanted to share that with you. So again, talking about the skin, sunshine converts cholesterol to vitamin D. We need cholesterol in our bodies, friends. And she's going back to her, so we're talking about our sustain principles here. So the first one was that sunshine converts to cholesterol. Use of water, best thing in the morning for the inside and outside of our body. Get that little bit of Celtic salt in there with a sip of water. Perhaps take a little bit of lemon water. She said lemon is fantastic to drink first thing in the morning with a little bit of water. So we're to the S of sustain. Sleep, waste is given off when we sleep. Trust in God, relaxes the body, enjoy the moment. Abstain from all the things we've talked about thus far. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. And nutrition, we've talked a lot about that. Everything in moderation, exercise, it increases the circulation. So she talked about using saunas. She really believes in them. And I've talked to her daughter, Emma. They actually have a wood burning sauna. So they have a wood burning stove. She sent me some pictures of it. It's really cool. I'll share it on here, but it has a rock system. So I assume they pour the water on the rocks that the wood stove has heated up and then there's the steam. But she said, sauna is creating a fever, which helps detoxify the body. And she said, we want to be in that sauna, in that hot space that's detoxifying for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we take a cold shower. Let me give you the thoughts behind that. Hot stimulates, circulation, opens pores, then the cold equalizes closes the pores and is also an immune booster. So something I've been doing, and it took me a while to kind of be brave enough to do it. When I take my shower in the morning, I have the, you know, the nice warm water, and then I turn the faucet and I get the cold water for just a couple seconds. It does wake you up, but it's also great for our immune system. She talked about a sauna and a cold soap tub. Her daughter just uses a Rubbermaid water trough that horses use. So you don't have to buy anything fancy for that. So she says three minutes of hot, 107 if you can handle it, and then 30 seconds of very cold. Do this three times in a row. I know my friend Brandy on TikTok, she's a wooden gypsy. She bought a sauna and a soap tub. So she's been doing this and she said you want to finish with the cold. I'm a person that's always like chilly, so the thought of all of this just kind of made me cringe, but I don't have the soap tub or the sauna, but I am using the shower in the morning with the warm water and then turning those faucets to cold. Like I said, it's really kind of amazing. Give it a try. She says the hot and cold is also very powerful for pain. I've got some random notes here. Potato reduces inflammation of the tissue. Ginger is for joint inflammation. Remember that ginger poultice I shared with you, and I'm gonna show you how to make it if you don't know how. 
Okay, now she's gonna go into eczema. Allergies may take two months to improve. Many times it can be from mold, chemicals, foods, which would be dairy, wheat, oats, peanuts, refined sugars, um, and starches. And here I have underlined, we underestimate the power of ice. If you have a heart arrhythmia, she says use ice, seven seconds on, seven seconds off. She's talking here about a charcoal and chia seed poultice, another thing to draw, another thing to draw impurities out of the skin. And I have here rosacea, maybe a hormone imbalance or allergies. We have new skin every single month. Did you know that our skin regenerates and we've got a whole new body of skin? Topicals for the skin to use. Coconut, aloe actually contains a growth stimulant. Did you know that? She calls that God's skin cream. I love that. Someone must ask her a question and she says there's a book by Stephen Harold Bruner, B-R-U-H-N-E-R, -E about healing Lyme disease. And the final note on this page, charcoal for tick bites. And she also said wormwood and black walnut for parasite cleanses. And remember, she does not advocate for alcohol-based tinctures. Now get this. So thinking about the apple cider vinegar and all the information we're learning, she says it will remove a mole. Think about that. That's why we should only use it externally. For those that don't want to take the cayenne pepper, I've got a final note here. 4,000 units of cayenne in a capsule, two times daily. Okay, we're finishing up with this last session of on Thursday. She said electrolytes are the minerals. I used to just be so mystified by what an electrolyte was. Like we have horses and I would buy electrolytes. She says they're as simple as all of the minerals and the trace minerals in the Celtic salt. The Celtic salt is sun-dried. Regular table salt has high heat and she also says refined table salt kills your taste buds. What the heck? Our body is an ocean, so we need sodium. We need salt, but we need a good source of salt. And the last note on this page, lemon is superior to apple cider vinegar. Okay, we've got two more days of the Barbara seminar notes. So we've got Friday and Saturday. Drop your comments below. Any questions? I'll chat later.